All right, just time today for a quick look at MLA format. Now, MLA format is the format that you're going to want to use in this class. It is the usually kind of the standard college format, but it is not for every course. Um, some courses use different formats. But for English and the humanities, you're going to find that MLA is pretty much standard. So some of the basic things you'll note here is that you will on the first page, an inch down, have your heading, which includes your name, Professor de France in this case, English 1, and the date, one inch margins all the way around. Uh, let's see, you have a half inch here, mar margin at the header, which will have your last name and the page. Uh, MLA papers are double spaced. You do have a title. Those are all parts of MLA format. When you're doing a basic citation, what you want to do is you want to end with the last name and the page. So if you're citing a book, you want to end with the last name of that author and the page on which it occurs. Uh, so that also works not just for books, but for in-text citations. Now, as you can see on this page, you have the full... <laughs> There's someone in the background here. You have the full uh, cit citation, so I don't need to read that off for you. But you can see there's a lot of stuff in there that includes the volume, the issue numbers, the year of the publication, the URL. Now commonly today we use online resources. When you're citing an online resource, this is citing a web page. Uh, when we're citing a web page, we'll include the author's last name and the, ti the title. So here, if we have the title, uh, we actually have it in the, let's see, in the sentence. We have our quotation there. We have author and title. If you're using, if you're citing something from YouTube, you would finish it with the uh, cited, I'm sorry, with the last name and the time signature. Citing a play or transcript is the same. Either way, those are, those look the same. All right, so that's it for MLA format. Thank you.